Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to another Axis 72 video. And in today's video, I'm back with another interview. And I'm here with Leonardo Ruiz. Leonardo, how are we doing, mate? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you. And you? I'm doing very well, thank you. And uh, I do very much appreciate you coming on the channel. And uh, just for anybody who may not know, am I right in saying you're a 28 year old super welterweight who's 11 and 2? That's right. Brilliant. Okay, I'm going to start with the question which I always like to start off with. And that is, why did you start boxing? Well, because I'm, I start boxing because I love the, uh, I love to fight. <laughs> mm -hmm. that's, that's good to hear. And uh, so, do you remember what happened in your first amateur fight? I remember my first amateur fights. I, I think there was uh, the, fifth, the f first fifteen amateur fights I won, and the first no, the first uh, twelve, eleven or twelve, I won all by knockout. And then I, I first lost my first amateur fight. After 11 knockouts, I lost my first amateur fight. No. <laughs> wow, that's uh, explosive. And then, and then I, 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 keep, I was keep fighting and fighting and fighting until like like 80 fights, something like, like this. Mm -hmm. Amazing. That's a, a, a very good long record. And uh, how important and how much did it help you to have that good amateur pedigree? Yeah, the, you you know in the amateurs, the it's all experience. You can, it's not happen. It's not bad when you lose or you win. Or it's like you can keep going fighting, and because you know there's no money and there's no, uh, it's not like the professional. Yeah. You you're not in the ranking like in the professionals, so it's no problem when you lose or when you win. It's like the same. You 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 can you can fight for experience, and that's what I what I did. Of course, and uh, so why did you end up turning professional when you did? I um, I was I was twenty two years, and my wife gets pregnant, mm -hmm. and then I was thinking about all because I know I have to 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 make money and bring it home mm -hmm. for my family, and so I I decided to to turn professional and keep fighting there. <laughs> Amazing, and I mean so far doing very well you uh, managed to get 11 victories so far and uh, out of these yeah. 11 victories which one would you say you've performed your best in my hardest fight was uh, versus Fernando Silva mm -hmm. in Mexico mm -hmm. I thought he was a like a, I thought he was a, a easy fight because his, his record is not not as good but this guy came to fight and I, I think I knocked him out in the eighth. But it's what it was like. I don't want to say lucky luck, but I I I punched him with a, with a punch, and I didn't thought that I can knock him out with this punch, and he goes down. But he he punched me a lot too. <laughs> it was a good fight. Brilliant. And I suppose for your fans that come out to support you, do you always like want to put on an entertaining fight for them? Yeah, I always bring an entertaining fight. You know, you you can you can watch all my fights and. I can promise one that I come to fight and uh, the the fans, the, the boxy fans, they watch me, they always love me and came after the fight to me. They made one you amazing fighter and and I promise to fight, you know, I, I when I <clears throat> one time I fought against uh uh what's his name? The Argentine Argent from from Argentina. I lost against him but uh, what was his name? For Veron, Veron. Okay. Yeah, he, he. I stepped up to 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 weight class. Wow. And and fought him, and he's now on the best twenty in the world, in the in the in the middleweight. And this time I was the welterweight because I, one fight before him, I fought in welterweight against uh, uh, Alan Herrera. Mm -hmm. He was a big fighter too. Mm -hmm. Alan Herrera fought Mickey Bay and. And a lot of fight, a lot of good fighters. Mm -hmm. Of course, and I suppose from what you've said there, does it show that you're always wanting the toughest fights? What you're always wanting to be in tough fights with tough opponents? Yeah, I love, I love the tough fights, you know, because I did five fights here in Germany, and they in Germany the boxing was like, you know, they bring me opponents that I don't need them. Mm -hmm. You know, this world of opponents like. They, I punch him and they they goes down. Mm -hmm. There was only one fight. There was 
a good, a good opponent, the, the last one in Germany against uh, Vardoashvili. This was like, okay, opponent, okay, this was not so good, but he, 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 he no boxing. Mm. Then I went to Mexico, I go to Mexico and there start, I think my car, my boxing career starts there. Mm. Yeah. Because there was like tough fights, you know. Mm. The Mexican guys have they they not all they not have all the good record, but they they can promise big drama show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. And I mean, you you hear it a lot. Mexican fighters they're always the avoided fighters because of how tough they are. But I yeah. mean, so far in your career, I mean, you have unfortunately suffered two defeats. But you've I mean, the first time you managed to bounce back very well, and I'm sure you're going to be wanting to do that again. And how tough can it be to face a defeat? I, I didn't I didn't understand the question. So you've had a couple of defeats, but how tough can it be and how how difficult can it be to rebuild from a defeat? You know, the, the, the tough thing um, for you know, loss of losing a fight is not is not a big thing because you know one one guy have to lose yeah. in the sport. The tough the tougher part of the sport is the the people around you, you know, mm. they, when you lost a fight, they they know nobody wants to know something about you. They talking bad about you, and all the stuff, you know. This is what the what what the fighter goes in depression and something like stuff like this. Or not not because they lose the fight, because the the people are around them, mm. you know. They go and they talk bad, and then you win, and they come back, mm. and it's like this is crazy. Mm. This is the craziest part of boxing mm. for me. Mm. Yeah, indeed, and how because we on the lights, and then yeah. when the lights goes off, and nobody wants to know something about you. Yeah, yeah, of course. And how did you manage to deal with these people, which maybe were hating a little bit? You know, God has a plan for all, all you know. And I think uh, God has a plan for me, and I, I just go the go the way with God. Yeah, that's brilliant, and. I suppose, I mean, you still managed to fight for a title, an international title, and how big of an achievement was it for to, to fight for that title? For the WBC, you mean? Mm -hmm. How tough the fight was? How how nice, a, how big of an achievement was it to fight for that title? Uh, I didn't understand, sorry. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, okay, we'll, we'll move on to, yeah, how tough was that fight? Yeah, it was a tough fight, you know. When when you see all the fight, you you saw it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like there was big drama too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you no, know, I I think I won the first round and the fourth round, and the eighth rounds, and then and in, in the middle rounds they he punched me a lot, mm -hmm. and I I didn't fall down, but he punched me a lot, and you know punching punch he he he's a good fighter, he's an amazing fighter. But um, he punched me a lot, and then in the tenth round, I don't know what happened. He punched me with one punch, and I I went down. I stand up like I I think it was like three four four seconds. I stand up, keep fighting, and then he 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 he, he catch me again. I go down and, and stand up, right 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 after the knockdown, and then the fight was held. And then when the fight was done, you know I know I know I lost. Mm -hmm. I think I, I had lost two when when I don't get knocked down, but it was a good fight and and the fans loved the fight. You know the, the fans, they still talking about it. They still send me messages and how tough and how a good fight. And I think this was the first uh, fight in the history from Richmond, in for for a WBC title. Oh wow, that's yeah. Brilliant. Okay, and uh, I mean like you said. Uh... It was a tough fight, but you, like you said, you managed. You got knocked down a couple of times, but you got back up both times. And do you kind of pride yourself in having that that heart and that determination to be able to get up from yeah. the knockdown? I I have this Mexican warrior in me, you know, and and there there was like I have a lot of family in in Mexico. They came they came they came to the fight to Richmond, and this was like they was. They was uh, screaming my name, and they it was crazy. All uh, finally, all the in the tenth round, all the all the arena was was, uh, was saying my name. You know, this was crazy. Mm. They all was screaming Leo and uh, yes, you can do it and stuff like this. 
it was crazy for me you know i i i, I knew 10 people from the from from the mexican part from my family they came to see me and, and then after the fight they all were screaming name my name the all the whole arena this was crazy for me this was like i feel good i feel good because uh finally we did what we have to do mm. giving the boxing fans a good fight mm. indeed and uh, so do you have a possible date of when you might be back fighting again yeah i start i start training like uh, two or three weeks ago mm -hmm. Because I, 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 after the fight, I, I went to, to, to Italy with my family. I have a grandmother there. Mm -hmm. uh, I went there and spent some time with my family because, you know, I lost a lot of time with my kids because I always was in training camp. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I went to, to the vacation. And then I had a couple of problems, you know, because uh, the part I tell you that the people come and go and after the fight, they was talking bad and I had a lot of problems. No, not problems, but uh, I have to fight with myself because, uh, you know, uh, it was crazy for me. And uh, But now I'm, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Thank God I'm good. And uh, I keep training. And yeah, like three weeks ago, I started training. Uh, I have now a, a new physical trainer. He trains with me. I had a new sponsor, that, like a gym. It's a, it's a gym. And they they sponsor me the trainer and all the stuff and I will come back stronger than than ever you know. Amazing and uh, so I mean for your kind of goal in boxing how how far do you believe you can get? What do you like to achieve in boxing? I I don't know but I have something that the same me that I can be a world champion. Mm -hmm. It's it's like in me you know I when I start boxing I know that I can do it. Mm -hmm. I know I can do it but. More important for me is like you know I would love to fight a world championship, but more important to me is like for the the people they they know my name and mm -hmm. when my kids are big are like they are bigger then they know okay his father was a was a chingon was a good guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's for me important. You know that I have. I want I want to do something in the sport mm -hmm. that the that people remember me like Arturo Gatti or stuff or people like this. Yeah, yeah, of course, brilliant. Well, I'll leave with this final question, which I always like to ask for any of your your fans and your sponsors. What would you like to say to them? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, they 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 are the reason because I can do it. I you know, I live my dream. Mm -hmm. It's hard, but I live my dream. Thanks, thanks to them. Amazing. Well, thank you very much, Leonardo. It's been it's been a pleasure to speak to you, and uh, I'm sure pleasure you'll too. be you'll be back winning fights again soon. And uh, so, if you're new around here, and you're up, subscribe. Please do so. Like video, do need like video, and thanks for watching.